Ikea has all kinds of things that objectively suck about the experience. You know, like who wants to go and pack their own mm-hmm. boxes and 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 fill load their own car with a whole bunch of boxes and stuff like that? Like uh, compared to like a premium furniture store, this idea that you would like roll around a warehouse and like fill your own cart, like why would that be a good user experience? You know, but when you look at the trade offs that they're making, IKEA the re- the main job to be done of IKEA is get me get this new place furnished today. Like I've got this one weekend and I've got to get this place set up and I've got to move on with my life mm-hmm. today, right? Yeah. So that means there's no custom ordering. There's no like waiting for your fabric choice and then having it delivered. Like you got to get it all done today. And how is it all going to fit in your car if it's not flat packed, right. you know? And how are you going to buy it all at once unless it's cheap? So like it needs to all be really cheap. So th- there, there needs to be like this cost factor of, you're you're willing to make the trade off of loading your own cart because you get to get the whole you get to get all the bookshelves and the desk and the kitchen and everything all set up like today and you're going to be able to do it all in one shot you know it all it all holds together and one um, more thing and you can take the whole family well yeah that's the other and it's thing somebody too somebody from fun for them there's well and and why is there why is there a cafe because it takes all day to buy everything for a new apartment it sure can yeah <laughs> 